Ooh, good one. Hey, everybody. Welcome to this super awesome show. <laughs> Hi. I'm David. And I'm Shauna. <laughs> and uh, we're here to show you the latest Archie McPhee products, or in this case, one of the oldest Archie McPhee products. <laughs> Uh, the Punching Nun. She was one of our most popular products of all time. She fights for what's right. She's got a habit of fighting yeah. for what's right. Um, and uh, we have redone her. She looks a little bit different than she did before. Same basic punching mechanism. Same basic product. Uh, one of our most requested products yeah. of all time. So you guys, we brought her back for you. You keep asking for them. So She, she floats time. like a butterfly and stings like an abbey. What? <laughs> And we've also added another punching puppet, which is the Rosie punching puppet. And Rosie has beautiful red boxing gloves. Dang! <laughs> let your guard down. Pow! <laughs> I should never let my guard down around that nun. So, there you go. Yep. All right, we got more stuff, too. Lots of stuff. Yeah, so much. We're trying to figure well, out which to do can, next. Can oh, I, yes. Can I, I'm going to do this because, actually, it features Shauna's voice. Uh, but it is. this is the scream. You might rec recognize it. Um, and we decided, um, we've had so much in the company, we've had so much angst uh, about the state of the world lately that there, we sh there should be an automated way to express it. Um, our throats were raw from screaming at things. Uh, so It's getting a lot of likes. <laughs> and that's Shauna's actual scream. <laughs> And if I can point like out... the lullaby, really. <laughs> yes. Uh, Shauna's <laughs> cats are upset when she presses this button and come to rescue her. Yeah, my cats stare at me. <laughs> What's wrong whenever they hear the scream? But um, this is great. Uh, I'd recommend it for every time you open a newspaper or a pull up CNN.com or um, anything like that. Or just read your Twitter feed. Yeah. Especially if you tweet anything political and you want to read the comments on it. And you... You had the thing of, let us scream for you. Yeah, let us scream is... for you. <laughs> <laughs> and Don't wear yourselves out. And it looks artistic Yeah, it's at so, the same so time. Pretty. Yeah. Um, we also have these lovely, oh, we have this lovely cat head oh, squirrel feeder. Now, we, are, we have this really popular squirrel feeder that's a horse head. And you know what you do. You hang this cat head. You put your food in it. And the squirrel comes up underneath it puts its little head in there and eats the food and it looks like he's got or she has a giant cat head. Ah! Oh, too small. Not squirrely <laughs> enough. Not squirrely enough. Uh, but this has been one of our exciting new items. And, and if your cats like to watch the squirrels out the back window of the house, this is a great addition because it <laughs> freaks them out. <laughs> my cats are already so freaked out by my They're scream. Screaming. Yes. Um, go ahead. Pug Buddha. For your dashboard. Um, there's very few things as restful as a pug. Uh, they like to sleep. Um, I don't know how much wisdom they have, but their wrinkles make them look wise. So <laughs> a little worried sometimes. A little worried. Um, so you, this is great for just putting in your car. It's a little restful, little restful thing in the way home. So <laughs> I like it. Okay, what else? Ready? Yes, go ahead. Oh, well, we have two new sets of notebooks. Yes. We have the Strange Friends notebooks and the lunch meat notebooks. <laughs> um, the lunch meat notebooks feature three different kinds of lunch meat, including bacon, salami, and olive loaf, which you probably don't actually want Do you want even know lunch. what olive loaf is? Hardly anybody does. Does anyone know what olive loaf is anymore? <laughs> but you probably don't want it in your lunch, but you'll like it on your notebook. Mm -hmm. um, includes sandwich recipes. Yes. And these are strange friends featuring our masks on people's bodies. They're beautiful, and each one inside has strange writing prompts. Oh, so, yeah. for instance, one this one says, uh, write a business plan for a unicorn if a unicorn were a capitalist. <laughs> uh, a story that includes only characters named after the dogs in your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> so, I forgot about that one. You, you could fill all of these, uh, fill these, yeah. all these up with your strange thoughts, your strange Very ideas, strange and thoughts. your strange ambitions. Yes. Real quick, we do have a request to bring back Senior Mysterioso. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Senior Mysterioso is available as an air freshener. And we we like Senior <laughs> Mysterioso. and uh, Only you and us yeah, <laughs> seem the, to like him. The three of us. And one of the, one of the, uh, one of the interesting facts about Senior Mysterioso is Pixar has a secret room oh. 
oh, yeah. uh, where the animators can like crawl through a secret hatch and go. And um, someone sent me a picture of the secret room because they have Senor Mysterioso hanging up in the room, which I was so pleased to that know that we have so cool. any connection to t Pixar is really super cool. Love that little nugget. Yeah. So um, should we look at our new soaps? Okay. So we have three new soaps and um, we have the um, Narcissist soap. No comment. <laughs> we have Bigfoot soap, and as you can see on there, it says, Me sorry, me so stinky. And these are really nice embossed tins. They're beautiful. Yeah. And show the soap on that oh, one, yeah. too, just because it has Bigfoot Look at the stamped Bigfoot into it. Stamped into that soap. I'll wiggle it because it's shiny. And if you love someone who's a grump, you should give them grump soap. <laughs> as it says on there, cleanliness is next to grumpiness. Um, we have tons of other stuff. I don't even know okay, where to go Okay, so next. let's do more of our sound makers. So oh, we have awesome. all these noise makers. You've already heard my beautiful scream. So now we can do um, emergency cat, which would also confuse my cats. So I could do the double whammy at home. Um, here it's the little emergency cat button. That's the little... Aww. Cat fight. Can you hear the purr? So nice. That's awesome. And Bigfoot, emergency Bigfoot. Emergency Bigfoot. Now, I personally went out in the woods. <laughs> thank you. I personally went out in the woods and recorded all of the sounds. <laughs> I heard you and somebody were sitting in a van, but I, I, don't, I guess it was you and Bigfoot <laughs> sitting in Bigfoot. a van. Um, I recorded it. And so we have the Bigfoot <laughs> howl, Bigfoot snorting and eating. <laughs> Which isn't easy to snort while you eat. Uh, and the Bigfoot roar. That's kind of angry, Bigfoot. And then we have kind of a Larry David-esque Bigfoot <laughs> resigned. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so. We also have the emergency unicorn. And we all need an, a unicorn in case of emergency. I've needed a unicorn so many times. And there's the sounds that this unicorn makes. I'm here to tell you how amazing how you amazing are. How amazing you are. Frolic in the greenery. I do believe in unicorns. I do, I do. Thank you for asking. <laughs> um, Speaking of frolicking and greenery, yeah. we have our um, really cool slug stampede. This is one of those items that is uh, locals really love, which is banana slugs. And these banana slugs are, are sticky. And um, this has been a really neat item for our store because, of course, you people around here know about banana slugs. And I uh, probably might have stepped on one, too, and it, this feels yeah. exactly like stepping on a banana slug. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Shauna, I'm going to hand this one to you because there's a <sighs> mint that goes along with it, too, okay. and I know how close it is to your heart. Okay, so this is our Descent Air Freshener. And this is, of course, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and she wears a special collar when she is de has a dis is dissenting against um, the popular vote. And um, this is the collar that she specifically wears, and I am in love. And um, so we have this as an air freshener, and then we also have Descent mints with that beautiful collar on them. And somebody commented on Twitter that this may be our finest uh, pun and may be the finest related air freshener pun of all time. Descent air freshener. Descent, get it? <laughs> Shauna, you just got a compliment on your dress oh, by thank Diane. You. Another amazing dress on you. Thank says. you, Diane. See? Somewhat appreciates it. <laughs> I love a dress. <laughs> we have a bunch of new air fresheners, though. Um, here, I'll just give a hand on okay. that to you. Um, we have the Emily Dickinson air freshener. It says, my business is to love, and it's Aww. lavender scented. For all those Emily Dickinson fans out there, there's very little Emily Dickinson fan merchandise. The Cowboy Air Freshener with its oh, yeah. citrus scent for cowboys and cow, well, cactus scent, sorry. For, <laughs> Thank for, you, Hef. For uh, people that, uh, you know, like cowboys. And we have the Unicorn Air Freshener, which is, of course, bubblegum scented. Oh, cotton candy scented. Because <laughs> <laughs> cotton and bubblegum, I always mix them up. And then we also have the Renaissance Kitty, which is Tudor Rose scented, which I love. The, I really like this Renaissance Kitty. Just got a comment that they love the new catalog from John. Oh, oh yay, yay, you got it. So does, so does this look familiar, John? <laughs> <laughs>
Um, okay. Well, I want to show these enamel pins, so Sean, if you want to grab some yeah. too, because we can show the one on my chest first, because this one's my favorite, the uh, rubber chicken enamel pin. Um, I like to wear an enamel pin on my shirt every day, so I was so excited when we started where, or buying these enamel pins to sell, because there are stuff. And you and he wears uh, he wear, coordinates his whole outfit to go around his. I pen. do, I do. Um, okay, so we also have Bigfoot and monkey with fez, and this one's my favorite, which is the girl with a squirrel head which in the you, pr pretty party dress. You might recognize that party dress <laughs> from someone else who may have just recently gotten a compliment on their dresses. Um, we also have the Groucho glasses, disguise glasses, and Grump. And we have the um, wizard cat, little wizard kitty, Meowlin, and we have the crazy cat lady as well. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, and uh, these are another old favorite that's kind of come back, yes. which are the nose air fresheners. P pencil sharpeners. Or, what did I say? <laughs> air fresheners? Although a nose... A nose goes with your... Oh, a oh nose my God, air freshener. Just came up with, <laughs> just came up so with a product. Smart. Okay, this is how product development happens in our company. <laughs> yeah. So um, you can uh, stick a pencil up your nose <laughs> and sharpen it. Again. Uh, yes. And Shauna has the lovely, amazing... Sloth socks. Sloth socks. And this is little sloths that wrap around your leg oh. just like this. This is not a real foot, by the way. Can I just point out his adorable little pot belly? Look at his belly. <laughs> That's my favorite part. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. I want to switch with Hef for a second here. Okay. Okay. So. Hef, why don't. Why don't you do? Hi, Hef. Hi. This is Hef. I'm Hef. Why don't you describe? <laughs> why don't you describe what this is? Okay. Uh, this is the inflatable rotisserie chicken. It looks just like a rotisserie chicken you would buy at the grocery store or Costco. Uh, you know how delicious they are. And the reason why they're having me introduce it is because I'm on the package of the inflatable right. Right. rotisserie Smile. chicken. I know, and, and uh, <laughs> Mark, the owner, the owner of the company, Mark, he uh, is constantly asking him uh -huh. when his rotisserie chicken, <laughs> his rotisserie chicken stand is going to open. That's right. The little thing on my hat says Hef's Deli, so <laughs> he's pushing me to actually open a Hef's Deli, which I would sell rotisserie chickens at Hef's Deli. So. You need all the profits, so you love chicken. I do. And tell him how how many. Rotisserie chicken containers we had to purchase. Oh, that's we went through a lot to, when we were uh, doing research and development for this. We we wanted to make sure it fit in a regular size rotisserie chicken container, but different stores have different ones, as we found. And Costco's is different than others. And yeah, it was it was a nightmare trying to get the right one, but we finally did. And it will fit perfectly. And it does fit. Yes, it per fits perfectly inside yeah. a regular grocery store's rotisserie chicken container. All right. Well, say goodbye, Perfect. Hef. Okay, bye. Bye, Hef. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Hef. Yeah. So anyway, I think we got every... Oh, did we... Miss no. It? Oh, we have these. We have these. So, mints. Do we have mints? <laughs> we have new mints. <laughs> well... Why don't I explain this one? <laughs> these are the mansplaining mints. And this is... <laughs> you shut it. <laughs> this is... um. This is a subtle way when some man is explaining to you to something that you already know and they keep going on and on when you already know it. This is a nice way if you just open, slide it open and offer them a mint or take a mint. And it's just our subtle way of saying, you're mansplaining, dude. <laughs> Anything you want to say about that? You were right, Shauna. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Just got a compliment on the sloth socks, by the way. Oh, oh excellent. Love those sloth socks. Uh, and uh, unicorn mints. My favorite detail on that is there is a goldfish <laughs> in a right. soap bubble on it. Yep. And squirrel and underpants mints. We don't know why. <laughs> but they uh, also the underpants are textured. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's what you want in squirrel underpants. Yes. And crazy cat lady mints. Meow. Perfect. Okay, so Men's all of these mints are loved as well. Oh, good. good. <laughs> um, and all of these items are available right now at our store and also at McPhee.com, which is M-C-P-H-E-E.com. 
And just to say too, this, uh, if you go to the Seattle store right now, they are prepared for Halloween. Yes. And uh, they have a theme this year, which oh, is so gorgeous. Cool. It is uh, Stranger Things. There's an upside down, there's a photo op. It's, Go get your picture taken in it. It's it is incredible. gorgeous. Um, I went there just the other day and I was blown away. So anyway, uh, thanks everybody. Um, I'm David. And I'm Shauna. And, and thank you for joining us at the super awesome show from Archie McPhee. Yay. Bye. Bye.